Hello VC Vinyl community. Um, let's have a look at some records that I have listened to lately. So I'm not much of a fan of hard rock or uh, blues rock, but if there is one record out of this particular genre that I'm really glad to have in my collection, then it's the self-titled uh, debut album by the late Mr. Greg Lake, which came out in 1981 as far as I remember and which is quite a brilliant album. Um, so this is very um, guitar oriented music. There is Gary Moore on this album and he is basically all over the place. Um, there are some slow tracks on it also. I think, uh, I think, isn't this called Power Ballads or something like that? But also you have the wonderful um, Beautiful Voice by Greg Lake. Um, so um, this is a really good record. Um, I mean, regarding the fact that I know it for some decades now, it never really uh, started to sound boring to me after all the years. So I think it's a good album. Yeah, good segue to this one. The epic Fly Like an Eagle by the Steve Miller Band. Probably my favorite American band. I mean, Steve Miller is quite an amazing musical personality, I think. Uh, um, I mean, his, his composing uh, spans from uh, psychedelic rock to pop music to blues and so on. But uh, everybody knows this album, doesn't it? So the next album I heard is from England, Shade, Stronger Than Pride. This was Shade's third album and the last album of the 80s. And uh, it beautifully continues uh, the well-crafted atmosphere of the first two albums. Um, there's really nothing to complain about. This is a wonderful record. All those three albums they did in the 80s are quite uh, masterful. Now this one, a bit of a checkered experience is uh, Living in the Box by Living in the Box. Um, this was their debut album. Uh, um, of course, in the midst of this, there is uh, quite a successful single. Um, so I wanted to hear um, the whole album from beginning to the end. And um, yeah, I mean, there are tracks on it that I quite like. Um, there are a lot of uh, kind of rather, rather cheesy tunes on it that I didn't like that much. So, um, as I said, a checkered experience. Now, in a very similar vein uh, is this album, which is also a debut album by ABC, The Lexicon of Love. Now, this one is um, much better, I would say. Uh, this is a wonderful album that maybe I didn't appreciate that much when it came out, but um, it's never too late, isn't it? Um, so. Um, I bought it a couple of years ago and uh, because I kind of started to collect everything that uh, Trevor Horan had produced. Um, just realizing that this is like a string of some really wonderful albums. And yes, this is one of those Trevor Horan productions and uh, it's a wonderful listen. Um, now, of course, back in the day, this, this band was mostly known for their sort of a hit single material. So I find it interesting just to listen do it all the way through and to figure out if it can hold any water and in this case yeah it's a great album uh, all the songs are quite interesting um, I really like it well the thing is for me this is not nostalgia I might have been around when this came out in the in the mid 90s or early 90s as a teenager crazy for all kind of music but I hated this sound. Um, so this is not like, it's not me going back and thinking I want to uh, go down um, the memory lane. Back in the day, I didn't like this kind of sound at all. So I wanted to lead the charge with an X in my hand and <laughs> smash those records with uh, something like King Crimson on my lips. I guess, but um, my taste has broadened over the years and decades and uh, so um, actually for me it's like going back and uh, look at uh, material that I have certainly neglected when it was brand new. 
Now, from this album, I felt like I want to continue uh, with this one, which is the wonderful Brilliant Trees by David Silgan. Now, David Silgan albums uh, can be a, a mixed bag sometimes, but this one belongs to those which I would call quite excellent. Uh, it's, uh, it's a very soft-spoken album with a, almost a sort of a jazzy touch to them uh, with uh, sort of an ambient feel in some parts uh, and uh, it's filled with uh, very interesting people of course you have Holger Sukai playing on it uh, you have Ryuichi Sakamoto of course you have John Hassel on it or Danny Thompson and many more uh, it was recorded in 1983 and 1984 in Berlin you remember the days when everybody went to Berlin to record music there so um, this one of those Berlin albums. Yeah, David Sylvian, uh, great voice. Now, um, I have the tendency to show you um, always some CDs at the end of this session. And this makes sense, especially for this musician, because this man hardly ever produced any vinyl records. Um, this is one of those people that uh, embraced the CD format. So I'm talking about uh, Laszlo Hortobadi, whom I've already, uh, I think, mentioned in another video. And uh, I wanted to show you all of his albums I have. Uh, and I do it very swiftly, in a timely manner. Now, um, actually his debut album does exist on vinyl. This is Tanzer Applica Meccano. It doesn't say Laszlo Hortobadi here, it says the Annals of Gaia and Uteak Society, which is basically just a moniker for Laszlo Hortobadi. Now, Laszlo Hortobadi is a composer and also a specialist for Middle Eastern music, for Indian music. He's an excellent bass guitar player, an excellent sitar player, and um, actually he's, even, he's also a professor of... Uh, of um, yeah, sort of a oriental or historical music and um, they're all kind of things and um, his uh, his solo albums his uh, his his work is mostly um, well it's mostly a, a amalgamation of those styles I mentioned with a very electronic sound actually so there is a lot of sort of there's sort of a lot of ambient mood and in later years a lot of a lot of dub and a lot of uh, sort of trip hop atmosphere. So uh, the second album, I have the same other uh, the one I just showed you. I have it here on CD as well, Transreplica Meccano. The second album came out in Germany uh, in 1992, I think, or one, uh, yeah, 1991. It's actually my favorite album by Las Lorto Baldi and certainly one of my favorite albums of all times. This is called The Traditional Music of Amygdala and uh, it's a fascinating musical journey, very fascinating, more on the ambient side but very... it's not just... Uh, this is not musical wallpaper or something, this is very thematic and uh, it feels very very strange. It's one of the strangest sounding... Um, it's not unpleasant, this is not... it's not noise at all, it's, it's, it's very pleasant music but it sounds like I don't know, like 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 a music from a different planet, maybe. It's like uh, it's like someone made music on this planet where the aliens come from. You know these science fiction movies. That's how it sounds. Or, well, it's a bit of a it's a bit of a concept album in the sense that uh, this is somehow how Hartobadi imagines music like thousands of years ago, or maybe thousands of years in the future, who knows? It's an interesting tip. I mean, I don't think, if you if you find it somewhere, this can't be very expensive, but uh, I can't believe that you will be disappointed by it. So, uh, the, the, the rest, I don't think I have them uh, in any chronological order. Now let's start with this one. Because this might be my second favorite album by Hotabadi, which is the ritual music of the Formalhot Al Ganubi. There are difficult titles uh, uh, by him always. So um, this one uh, is a little more aggressive in sound. Uh, it's very uh, inspired or very oriented uh, by, um, yeah, I would say music from India and uh, Middle East, Central Asia. Um, some there are some uh, very wild rhythms on it, and it's all in all, it's very cool sound. Quite like it. 
the Arcadian collection uh, is working with a lot of samples that uh, are rather sound rather Byzantine and sort of medieval almost and uh, they are boldly combined with um, well sort of Indian music I think so what he does all the time is creating um, crossover situations that historically would be impossible so that's sort of a part of his shtick uh, so you get kind of a uh, music that uh, sounds like a band that's medieval but half of the guys are from India and the other half is maybe from medieval England or something and that's how how they sound so it's quite weird one could say now this is the sixth all India music conference uh, that's the title of the album now um, what's what Hortobadi does a lot is he creates sort of this spoof uh, programmatic elements of in these albums like sort of a fictional co musical conferences of people from different uh, centuries and continents and uh, yeah and uh, the music is exactly like that um, Terra Day is another album I think this is also a bit more oriented in uh, the sound of uh, sort of East European and uh, the Balkans combined with the more Turkish music. Nemesis. Now at this point uh, Hurtubadi already started to make his album sound uh, very much in the genre of dub, dub and trip-hop music. So he quite embraced that and, and combined it with his sound. Um, so here Mimesis the Memragas from another 21st century. Yeah, the, the first track is excellent, Darbari Ank. Maybe you can look it up somewhere on YouTube. Um, yeah, the songs from Hangistan. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, another cool album by Hortobadje. This time with the uh, Hieronymus Bosch uh, painting excerpt on the cover. Not the first one to use that. And finally, this one. This is a. Um, this is called Sons of Arca. Meet the Gaian Uteak uh, Orchestra, which is heard by this collaboration with the famous Sons of Arca, uh, which are sort of these uh, uh, world music slash dub. Legends. So it's quite a cool album. There's some really funny tracks on that, like uh, the last track, Sostenuto, which is uh, with Professor Stanley Unwin. Yeah, so that's it for now. And uh, I hope this was in any way interesting. And uh, I hope to see you next time. And uh, if you like, give me a thumb up. If you don't like it, then you need to punish me, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, if you subscribe to my channel, you will have my eternal love forever. Okay, I'm lying, but whatever. <laughs> it would be nice. So, see you and uh, bye bye.